was a chilly morning when some of the disciples, they got up early to go see. It was the first day of the week and they could finally go to the body and do what they needed to do. To breathe, to be there. It's early morning out here on the lake as well. And so the grace and the peace of the risen Lord be with you, all of you. The Lord is our strength and our song. The Lord has become our salvation. There is a song of joy and victory in the tents of the righteous. Because of the Lord's victory, we will not die. Instead, we will live and proclaim what God has done, the stone the builders rejected as worthless turned out to be the most important of all. This is the day of the Lord's victory. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now there was a garden in the place where he was crucified, and in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there? Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there? first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had re been removed. She ran and she went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and she said to them, They have taken my Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple, they ran out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then. Simon Peter came, and he was came following, and then he went into the tomb, and he saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, but not lying with the linen wrappings. So 
but rolled up rather in a place all by itself. Then the other disciple, the one that reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw, and he believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that Jesus must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside of the tomb, and as she wept, she bent over and she looked into the tomb and saw no angel in white. She saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Don't you weep, don't you mourn? Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you mourn? Are you looking for the one you love? We ain't here no more. Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you mourn? Oh, Mary, don't you weep, don't you mourn? Don't you remember what he said? Mary said to the angels, They have taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she said this, she turned around, and she saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. And Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking, supposing him to be the gardener? And she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus said to her, Mary. And Mary turned and said to him in Hebrew, Boni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to the others and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them all that she had seen. Jesus Christ is risen today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Who did once didn't come on the cross? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hymns of praise and let us sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus stood among them and he said, Peter, be with you. And after he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples, they rejoiced when they saw it and said, Lord. Jesus said to them again, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Sunday morning on Devil's Lake we are out here in this beautiful beautiful misty place we're here too Jesus Christ is risen today every day every day every day when we rise and we look out whether the Sun is shining or not that we can see we know that the sun does rise somewhere. And we know that Jesus Christ rises with us, goes to sleep with us, is with us no matter where we go, no matter what. 
we may encounter in the days in which we wake up to. When things run smoothly, sometimes we take it for granted that life is always a certain way. The truth is, there's always change. As you look out over the lake and you see that mist slowly going by, you see the water waving, it's never the same. There's always constant change. I'm not sure why we thought that the coronavirus in this time of isolation was something so unexpected. For we know that change always comes. The disciples, they thought they understood death. Death had always seemed to be the same way. Someone dies and they go away. showed us a different way that life is eternal and it goes on it changes its different forms and in different ways but it's always there the good news this morning is as we wake up into this beautiful beautiful sunrise morning is that Jesus Christ is risen today and suit all of you out there. I want you to know and to remember and to say with me, Christ is risen. To say that Christ is risen. To say it to the world around you, to those whom you will talk to on the phone, to those whom you might chat with out there in the world of the internet to let them know that Christ is always rising not just this morning but is always rising before us no matter where we go and what we do Mark out here right now it looks like well it is that the fog is rolling in fog bank is obscuring a sunrise. How about that? What about when you can't see it? You have to have eyes that not only see through those things in your head, those eyeballs, you got to see in your mind's eye. you got to see Christ alive where you might be seeing the thickest of clouds, or the grievous of reeds, in the lonely, in the broken but also in that beautiful smile of the old and the young alike. In the sound of a, of a goose, of a red, of a red winged blackbird. In the roar of an ocean in the distance. To see with your ears with the coldness on your skin. See with your nose both those smells that you love so much, maybe even those that you do not like. Wendy Christ is still there, rising ever before you. I just really want to hang here long enough to watch it come up, though. We 
want to see it come up over those hills? Why is that so important? Not only do I want to see it come up, but I want it to come up now. And if there's anything that these last few weeks have showed is the opportunity to find a way to be at peace when I can't make it come up now. To find a way to lean into what I can't control And not just to, not just to figure out a way to tolerate and get through when I can't control it, but to truly be at peace. To be okay with not being able to get rid of the fog, not being able to orchestrate the rising of the sun, not being able to stamp out hunger by giving out one box of food, to not be able to stop growing old, and I can't instantly be with the people that I love. can do is wait on Jesus. And all I can do is wait on Jesus for whatever his timing is. So we're not all that different than those those disciples were that locked themselves away in that upper room who were waiting and waiting. And the miraculous happened. While they were waiting, Jesus broke into their lives. Came into that dark them that peace. And they do. And even then there were those that maybe weren't in that upper room that when they heard the story they doubted. Doubting is not a problem. Thomas needed to touch it, he needed to feel it, and there were those disciples that helped him walk that journey to finding that place where he could stick his, his hand into the wound. Thomas believed and went out and told the world too that Jesus Christ had risen today. Did you sing the Mary Don't You Weep song again?
Will you pray with me? God of the light, God of the fog, of the wind, and the sea, and the lake, and the birds, God of the song that brought the first day into birth, and God of the grave, God who descended into hell to redeem, to set the prisoners free this day, we relax into you. We raise our hands like the Boy Scouts do and we declare our pledge. Our pledge is even when we are afraid, even when we're in the fog, even when we doubt, we believe. And this day, God, help us to walk the way of trust and peace. Walk us to the way where we run to tell our brothers and sisters what we have seen and help us to wait for the rising of the sun in whose name we pray, amen. Wendy, can you see the sun? Can you see the sun rising? I'm waiting, Mark. I'm still <laughs> waiting. It's right there. It's yeah. It's right there. It's right there. It's always. It's always right there. Right there. And that's why we say. He is risen. He is risen indeed. There's a little peak of it. Here it comes.
is risen. Christ is risen in me. <laughs> Can you feel Christ warming your hands, warming your bones? This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made for you. Rejoice and be glad in it.